Let's take a look at math, grade 4, module 6, lesson 15. Decimal fractions. Topic E, money amounts as decimal numbers. So let's take a look at this one. If you have one penny, that is worth one cent. It's also one one hundredth of a dollar. And if we want to write this with the dollar sign, we would write zero decimal zero one, which we would read like one one hundredth of a dollar, or we could say one cent. Let's try another one. This time we have seven pennies. Seven pennies is equal to seven cents, which is seven hundredths of a dollar, which is equal to zero decimal zero seven, or seven hundredths of a dollar, or seven cents. What if we had 31 pennies? If we had 31 pennies, that would be equal to 31 cents, which is 31 hundredths of a dollar, and written with a dollar sign is 0 decimal 31, 31 cents. What if we had 80 pennies? 80 pennies would be 80 cents. That is 80 hundredths of a dollar, and we would write it with the dollar sign as 0 decimal 80. What if we had 100 pennies? 100 pennies would be equal to 100 cents. That would be 100 hundredths of a dollar. And if we wrote that with the dollar sign, we would write it this way. 1 decimal zero zero or one dollar. So how many dimes are in a dollar? And we can show this in a few different ways. One of the ways we can show it is by using a tape diagram. If we think about the tape diagram as being one whole dollar, we can break that up into ten parts. And each of those parts is going to represent a dime which the fraction equivalent of that is one-tenth of a dollar. Because it's one out of the ten parts that we broke our dollar up into. So we can say that a dime is worth ten cents, that it's one-tenth of a dollar, and if we write it with a dollar sign, it would be zero decimal one zero, or one-tenth of a dollar or 10 cents. So let's think about this. What if we had 8 dimes? Well, 8 dimes would be worth 80 cents. It would be 8 tenths of a dollar. And with a dollar sign, 0 decimal 80. If we had 10 dimes, that would be worth 100 cents that would be ten-tenths of a dollar, meaning that we have the whole dollar, so our dollar sign amount would be one decimal zero zero. Well, let's think about a quarter. We can think about that tape diagram again. It's just this time, when we separate our tape diagram, we're going to do it into four parts. Each part is going to be worth twenty-five cents. That is twenty-five hundredths of a dollar. So, a quarter is worth twenty-five cents or twenty-five hundredths of a dollar. And when we write it with a dollar sign, zero decimal two five. So what if we had seven dimes and two pennies? Well, if I want to write a number sentence for that, seven dimes would be worth seventy cents two pennies would be worth two cents. So altogether they would be worth seventy-two cents. Now the fractional amount of that would be seventy-two hundredths of a dollar. Written as a decimal would be zero decimal seven two. Seventy-two hundredths of a dollar. 
And is that more or less than a dollar? Well, 72 cents is less than one dollar. Let's try two quarters, three dimes, six pennies. Well, a number sentence for that, two quarters would be 50 cents, three dimes would be 30 cents, and six pennies would be six cents. That would give us a total of 86 cents. That would be 86 hundredths of a dollar. In decimal form, we would write 0 decimal 86. And then for our comparison, we would say 86 cents is less than one dollar. Let's try five quarters and seven pennies. Well, five quarters, it takes four quarters to make a dollar. So five quarters would be 125 cents. Seven pennies would be seven cents. So if we want to do a number sentence for that, it would be 132 cents. The fractional amount would be 132 hundredths, or I could say one whole dollar and 32 hundredths of another dollar. And in decimal form, we would write one decimal three two and then our comparison, we could say that a dollar thirty-two is greater than a dollar. Now let's think about adding these two amounts together. We have five dollars, three dimes, seventeen pennies. That's what we have here at the top. And then down here we have four dollars, three quarters, and two dimes. So let's take a look at five dollars, three dimes, and seventeen pennies. If I take ten of these pennies and put them together, I have ten cents. Well that's the same as one dime. So I could say I have five dollars, ten, twenty, thirty, forty, five, six, seven, I have five dollars and forty-seven cents up here. And then down in this one, I have four dollars, three quarters is seventy-five cents, eighty-five, ninety-five. So I'm adding four dollars and ninety-five cents to this. So when I add this, I can put my dollars together first and have I have nine dollars. But when I put my 47 cents and my 95 cents together, I can see that I can take 5 cents from 47 and put it with this 95 cents and make a whole dollar. That would leave me with 42 cents. So my total would be nine dollars and 142 cents. But 142 cents I can break up and I can take a hundred of those cents and make another dollar. That would give me ten dollars and forty-two cents. Written as a decimal would be ten dollars and forty-two cents. Alright, that'll take care of things for lesson 15 where we've been expressing money amounts given in various forms as decimal numbers.